The matched grip versus traditional grip is another interesting question, argument, debate. And uh, for a long time, I played uh, matched grip for most of my playing time because I thought it gave me more flexibility with the left hand, and that's what I was after, to be able to get it around more. There was, there was a great story I always loved about Gene Krupa. He's, uh, it's claimed that he said, whether this is apocryphal or not, I don't know, but he used to uh, shake hands with his left hand and say that I'm, I'm using my left hand more because I think it's underdeveloped. And I thought that's a great illustration of exactly what many drummers try to do. You try to get your left hand more active physically and musically around the drum set. So I had gone to match grip for that reason, because I thought it allowed my left hand to travel around more and exert more even force throughout the range of motion. But um, while that may be true physically, and I think physiologically they've proven that more muscles can be brought into play on matched grip, and I thought, you know, that, that proves it. And again, one of those things that seems to be true, but perhaps isn't. Because while it's true physically, perhaps it's not true musically, is what I've come to think lately. Because the drum set revolves very much around ride cymbal, snare drum, bass drum, or over to the hi-hat. And getting these circular motions going, it's more important to have, I think, the uh, what the traditional grip, grip allows is that kind of gathering in motion in of motion toward the body and what I found it valuable for is in a musical sense that I can get the the rotating motion going on here on the snare to the cymbal and I can develop the same kind of flexibility with the left hand around to all the other items of the drum set with a little bit of practice and of course after 30 years of playing matched grip it was quite an effort in one year to reinvent a whole style of playing based around the traditional grip and when I asked Freddie about that Freddie is this really what I should be spending my time on um, developing a whole new facility and a technique that I haven't been using for 30 years and he just dismissed that like it's all the same it doesn't matter and it's true many of the exercises that he gives me for thumb control and for hand control on and so on can be done with match grip as well as traditional. So it's a small, it comes down to being a pretty small point, but it seems to me that in the fluidity of timekeeping and the fluidity of uh, adding ghost notes and so on through the course of playing uh, patterns to the cymbal or to the hi-hat, I was able to get a much nicer flow of rhythm and a much nicer pulse to the time sense by using, uh, by using traditional grip. So I stayed with it. I figured it was worth the experiment and since I was going at this as being a process of reinventing myself and completely starting all over, it kind of added to the, the excitement of that, of, of starting in a whole new way, a completely fresh approach to the drum set after all those years. And uh, the results proved themselves such that um, this whole album, for instance, was recorded completely using traditional grip and I was able to find ways to, um, to get the power and the uh, flexibility around the set that I needed.